said the LOI will grant access to the Ablegba landfill for collection of pl plex pardon that, flexible plastic waste for advanced chemical recycling. Perhaps at the organization known for the transformation and management of chemicals, as well as the promotion of a circular and sustainable economy, will work at the decommissioned Ablegba dump site in the state. He said the project will border around the collection of all flexible plastic waste arriving at the Ablegba landfill site that will be recycled to generate energy. Wahab added that following the success of the pilot project, additional modules will be deployed and installed in order to scale up the volume of processed plastic waste. The Provost of Lagos State College of Health Technology, Laskohet Yaba Rahim Akewushola, has advised newly admitted students to prioritize their studies, avoid distractions, and stay clear of misconduct during their time in the institution. Speaking at the orientation program for the 2024-2025 academic session held at the college premises, the Provost congratulated the students on successfully navigating the rigorous admission process. He noted that the offer of admission on probation to about 1,000 students from over 3,000 applicants by the college underscored the competitiveness of the process and urged the students to take their admission seriously. Lagos Central Senatorial District has flagged off the year 2024 inter-secondary school debate on drug abuse with the theme, Pioneering a Substance-Free Generation, Youth Empowerment and Advocacy. Representative of Lagos Central Senatorial District in the Nigerian Youth Parliament, Abdul Mumin Edidi, explained that the debate will feature 32 senior and junior secondary schools from across the district, tackling various topics related to drug abuse prevention and treatment. It is said the preliminary stage concluded with four senior schools proceeding to the final round scheduled for November. He said the debate, which marks the third edition of a peer-to-peer -peer initiative of the Nigerian Youth Parliament's Drug and Substance Abuse Control Policy, is aimed at curbing the menace of drug abuse at its roots. The program since its inception two years ago has reached over 90 schools and aims to engage all schools within the district. Former President Ulusha Gwabasonjo says the growing number of out-of-school children in the country poses a great security risk for the nation in the future. He says not equipping the over 20 million out-of-school children in Nigeria to develop their innate ability and capacity leaves them for Boko Haram and bandits to exploit. Gwabasonjo said this in vouchers. <laughs> Pardon that. Obasan just said this in Bauchi State at the inauguration of cer inauguration ceremony of some selected projects executed by Governor Bala Muhammad. <music> the Nigerian Army has dismissed media reports suggesting that there is a leadership vacuum following the absence of the Chief of Army Staff Tarid Lagwaja. Army spokesman Onyema Nwachuku said Lagwaja is on official leave and necessary protocols have been taken for the input in place for the chief of pol pol for the chief of policy and plans in the army, Abdul Salami Ibrahim, to act on his behalf during his absence. Nwachuku who emphasized that Lagwaja's absence is not affecting the operations of the service, said all routine and scheduled activities of the service are on course, adding that the appropriate departmental chiefs are fully carrying out their responsibilities in line with the Chief of Army Staff's directives. And now to the rest of the stories. The federal government, through the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, says discussions are ongoing to transfer the management of the national grid to independent system operator in line with the provisions of the Electricity Act 2023 to engender more discipline in grid management. NERC in a statement posted on its official X handle. 
acknowledged the recent rise in greed disturbances that have resulted in significant outages. It noted that an investigative public hearing to identify immediate and remote causes of recurring incidences of great disturbances and widespread outages will be conducted very soon. The commission added that the date and venue of the public hearing will be shortly announced in the national dailies and stakeholders are encouraged to participate. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has released a sum of $547.7 million to Nigerians for the importation of food items in the second quarter of 2024. The amount is a reduction of 20.6% from the $689.88 million recorded in the first three months of the year and 8.93% from 903.95 billion Naira recorded in the first quarter when converted to Naira. This implies that the CBN released a total of 1.73 trillion Naira for food item exportation, importation in six months. All these are the federal government's plans to reduce the price of food commodities through the implementation of zero duty on selected basic food items is increasingly becoming difficult to achieve. This challenge is underscored by the alarming increase in the average price of imported food items, which rose to 878.3 price point index in September 2023, reflecting broader economic pressures. Now to foreign news. Indonesia's newly elected president, Prabowo Subianto, has vowed to combat internal issues such as corruption, that plague the country and make it more self-sufficient. Prabowo, who unsuccessfully ran for the presidency twice before now, said in a fiery speech to lawmakers that he will be president for all Indonesians and challenged the nation to help him face the country's problems. The new president said self-sufficiency for food is possible within five years, while also pledging to become self-sufficient in energy. Thousands of people have protested in holiday resorts in Spain's Canary Islands against over-tourism, which they say prices local people out of the housing market. Under the slogan, Canary Islands has a limit. Residents demonstrated simultaneously in Gran Canaria, Tenerife, La Palma, Fuerteventura, Lanzarote and El Hierro, calling for a change in the tourism model for the islands. Activists claim the arrival of millions of visitors every year depletes limited natural resources like water and damages the environment. According to the Spanish Nat National Statistics Institute, 9.9 .9 million tourists visited the Canary Islands between January and September this year, 10.3% more than in the same period in 2023. <laughs> Now, sports Brazilian and Al Hilal forward Neymar Jr. is set to return to the field after a year long injury. Neymar will be part of the Al Hilal squad to play Al Ain in, an, on Monday in the AFC Champions League. Recall that the forward suffered a torn anterior cruciate ligament and meniscus in his right leg, one of the worst injuries a footballer can endure. He posted a photo on his official Instagram account celebrating his return to training. And that's all for the news at 6. Always carry out proper and adequate checks on your vehicles before setting out. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961, on YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Song Wulu administration? Supplied 86,000 dual furniture sets to 775 public schools. You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. As part of efforts to reduce plastic waste in the state and facilitate its conversion, the Lagos State Government has signed a letter of intent, LOI, with a British company reputable for the conversion of plastic waste to energy. The federal government, through the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, 
says discussions are ongoing to transfer the management of the national grid to independent system operator in line with the provisions of the Electricity Act 2023 to engender more discipline in grid management. We also told you that Indonesia's newly elected president, Prabowo Subianto, has vowed to combat internal issues such as corruption that plague the country and make it more self-sufficient. And in sports, Brazilian and Al-Hilal forward Neymar Jr. is set to return to the field after a year-long injury. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiwali Uluwaporoku. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay